Good day and welcome to another Micrographics vlog. We are an Autodesk partner and reseller. My name is Sean Bauer and I will be presenting this vlog today, 10 February 2025. I am an application engineer and Autodesk AECO technical consultant with Micrographics. And today's topic is AutoCAD versus AutoCAD LT 2025 understanding the differences. If you find this vlog to be informative, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future vlogs. On the agenda for today, an introduction, core functionality of AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT, performance and productivity, 3D capabilities, Customization and Automation, AutoCAD LT 2025 Limitations and Workarounds, Extensions and Add-ons, Choosing the Right Option, and a Conclusion. If you're in the market for AutoCAD, you've probably come across two versions, AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT, Limited Technology. But what exactly is the difference? and which one is the best fit for your needs. In this video, I'll break down the key features, limitations and extensions available in both versions so you can make an informed decision. Whether you're an architect, engineer or designer, this comparison will help you choose the right tool for your workflow. As part of the introduction, I'm showcasing the two different uh, software applications, AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. On the ribbon, you will notice that on the home tab, there are no differences. You have the same drawing tools, modification tools, annotation tools, layers, blocks, properties, groups, utilities, and clipboard. The differences come in when you would like to change your workspace from a 2D environment to a 3D environment for 3D basic modeling or 3D advanced modeling. On your insert, annotate, parametric, view, manage, output uh, tabs, they are the same. With the collaborate tab, however, AutoCAD Full has more capabilities when it comes to the Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360 whereas the AutoCAD LT has the option to push the DWG file to docs. Core functionality of AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. Feature, 2D drafting and, and annotation. AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT can both do 2D drafting and annotations. 3D modeling and visualization. AutoCAD LT is limited to that and does not have the 3D modeling and visualization or rendering capabilities. Customization for Lisp files, VBA or .NET. AutoCAD Full can run Lisp files, whereas AutoCAD LT cannot. Parametric drawing, yes for both. In <coughs> blocks and dynamic blocks. Yes, for both. However, AutoCAD LT is limited to the use of dynamic blocks and creation of the parametric dynamic blocks or smart blocks. And then the express tools are only available in the AutoCAD full version. Performance and productivity. Smart blocks placement and replacement. Both AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT can. Floating drawings. Yes, for both. Sheet Set Manager, yes, on both. However, the Sheet Set Manager is limited on the AutoCAD LT. Does not have full functionality capabilities as the full version. Trace and Markup Imports, yes, for both. My Insights and Automation, yes, on both. Collaboration and Autodesk Docs Integration, as previously mentioned, it is available in both. However, the LT um, has its limitations. 3D Capabilities. On, in the full version, all of these apply for 3D solid, surface and mesh modeling, rendering and visualization, 3D navigation and views. However, AutoCAD LT does not have these capabilities. 
customization and automation for AutoCAD 2025, Lisp, VBA.NET, and Optic ARX is available, and AutoCAD LT cannot do those. Action Recorder is for the full version, but not for the AutoCAD LT. The tool Palettes and Custom Ribbons, yes, on both. AutoCAD LT 2025 limitations and workarounds. So the limitations are that they cannot do 3D modeling. There are no Lisp, VBA.NET, or o Object ARX files, no Express tools, no Action Recorder, limited dynamic blocks, limited sheet set manager, no network licensing. However, the network licensing, um, I'm not referring to your subscription license. And no 3D PDF exports, no rendering and visual styles, no geolocation and map features, no point cloud support and limited collaboration features extensions and add-ons the full version includes all the tool sets for architecture mechanical electrical plant 3d map 3d loss raster design and more whereas autocad lt is limited to the autocad web and mobile functionality and the construction cloud with these limitations so choosing the right option Choose AutoCAD 2025 if you need 3D modeling, rendering, or visualization. If you want customization and automation for Lisp VBA.net, you work with dynamic blocks and express tools. You require tool sets for architecture, mechanical, electric design. You need geolocation, point clouds, or parametric drawing. Choose AutoCAD LT 2025 if you need to do only to do 2D drafting and annotation. You don't need Lisp or automation. You use basic block functionality without customization. You focus, your focus is generally on 2D drafting and your work with basic CAD drawings don't need 3D. So in conclusion, which version of AutoCAD should you go for? If you need 3D modeling, advanced customization with Lisp or VBA, and tool sets for specialized workflows like architecture or mechanical design, then AutoCAD 2025 is the way to go. But if you only need 2D drafting and annotation without the extras, AutoCAD LT 2025 offers a cost-effective solution. At the end of the day, it all comes down to your workflow, budget, and project requirements. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us here at Micrographics. I hope you found this vlog informative. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and don't forget to like and hit that notification bell for future vlogs. Thank you again and goodbye.